I'm Mark Wishnia with your Town Square Media Sports Report brought to you by Crop Production Services. Last week, an undefeated legacy team took on defending state champ Century, and the Patriots showed why they're the defending state champion. Century crushed legacy 55-6. This week, a now 3-2 and two Century team looks ahead to Dickinson. Head coach Ron Wingenbach. We're going to run into a pretty athletic team on the perimeter especially, and we know that they're going to be able to spread us a little bit defensively, and they also have the capability of running the ball between the tackles a little bit, so we got to make sure that we know where their standout players are and contain them. Meanwhile, Legacy, now 4-1, and one, has to take on Minot this week. Minot's making a strong case for being this year's state champions. Just ask Mandan head coach Todd Sheldon, whose team was upended by Minot last week 56 to nothing. If Minot's not playing on November 11th for the state championship, then there's been a major upset in high school football. And the challenge for Mandan this week, a team still looking for their first win, is against Williston, a team that seems to have an inconsistent depth chart. They've had four or five different starters at different positions that play one week and don't play the next week, so even a grasp on who's going to play and what kind of skill set they bring has been a little bit difficult. They haven't had the same personnel for two consecutive games this year, so it's been a little bit of a crapshoot. Bismarck High School was able to beat Williston last week 31-13. Head coach Mark Gibson, who last week said his team took a step backwards, was pleased with his team's defense. This week, Bismarck faces Jamestown in their homecoming game. The excitement of homecoming, however, has not carried over to the coaching staff. Homecoming is a, is a huge distraction. I it's, it's something that, you know, it's fun for the kids and fun for a lot of people around. It's a headache for coaches. And it, there's a lot of things going on that kids better understand that what the real focus should be is, is on Jamestown. And if we start looking at their record and, you know, who beat who and won by how many points, then we're going to be in trouble because they're a very good football team. Meanwhile, St. Mary's improved to 5-0 and following a 43-7 to victory over Trinity last week. This week, St. Mary's squares off against Watford City, who currently shares the top spot in the conference with St. Mary's. Head coach Dan Smraker. They're ready to play. They're much improved. They're a very physical team, good size. They're very much like us in the fact that they try to run a lot of just power football, control the tempo of the game. So I look for a very physical game, a very run-orientated game by both of us. And in nine, Shiloh beat Central McLean 56-20 last week. They improved the 6-0. and This week, Shiloh takes on Center Stanton in a game that will air on Cool 98.7. Head coach Fanon Barker. Well, you know, since they're standing, they've, they've had a rough season so far. A lot of that's due to the lack of guys. they got about 13 guys on their roster, so you really feel for them. But they've done a great job over there managing the season for them, and we expect a good showing from them on Friday. In college football, UND beat Montana State on the road 17 15 behind Brady Oliveira's 171 rushing yards, which included a 60 yard touchdown in the fourth quarter, which proved to be the difference in the game. NDSU was off last week, but returns to the gridiron this Saturday in their homecoming game against Illinois State. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. In pro football, Green Bay beat Detroit 34-27 and Minnesota beat Carolina 22-10. Carson Wentz and the Eagles improved to 3-0 following a route of Pittsburgh 34-3. Wentz threw two touchdown passes and still has yet to throw an interception this year. The Eagles have a bye this week and will face the Lions after their bye week. And that's your Town Square Media Sports Report brought to you by Crop Production Services. I'm Mark Wishnia.